Hi, friends. This is Miss Stacy from the Youth Services Department of the Fayetteville Public Library, and this is preschool story time for ages three to five. Before we begin, I wanted to share a couple announcements of some upcoming programs that I think are exciting. This weekend, you may have seen, is Grandparents' Day. And so we have a craft on Friday that is meant for grandparents and grandkids. We, this is a registration only event, but we still have spots open at 10, 10.30, and 11 on Friday. But if you can't make it into the library, we also have a take home option. So check that out on the event calendar. We have one more program coming up this week that I'm excited about, and that's our first Super Saturday of the fall. This Saturday at 10 a.m. in our event center, which is the big space. If you haven't seen it yet, you have to come check it out. Marshall Mitchell will be here playing cowboy music. So join us for that. And you don't have to register for that event. Let's sing our hello song. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wink and sing hello. We wink and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wink and sing hello. Good job, friends. Today's story time is all about one of my favorite treats, cake. Do you like cake too? Cake is a food item that is soft and sweet, and it's usually made from a mixture of flour, shortening, eggs, sugar, and more. It's often baked in the oven and then decorated with pretty icing. Let's read our first book. This one I thought was so cute. It was so cute, in fact, that I built this whole story time around this book as my inspiration. I think the drawings are so cute. Look at her face. <laughs> it's called I Really Want the Cake by Simon Philip and Lucia Jagiotti. There's a smell I can't ignore. It's wafting through the kitchen door. See the wafting smell. It's time for me to find out more. I think it might be cake. <laughs> Look at her dancing with her dog. She's so excited. It's on the table sitting there. I cannot help but stop and stare. And now I'm really quite aware. I think I want the cake. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Her little dog is so cute. The decoration's just so neat. That icing looks like such a treat. It smells so chocolatey and sweet. And there, look, you can see the smell. And there's the dog, he's smelling too. I really want the cake. Look at, look at her, she's prepared for battle. She really wants it and the dog even has a helmet. I want it now, and though I'm small, I'm sure that I could eat it all. But mom has written in a scrawl, you must not eat the cake. Huh, she can't eat it. Look at her eyes, she's like, ah, it's torture. I'd be a fool to disobey. To eat the cake is not okay. And maybe if I go away, I might forget the cake. Like she's got a safari hat on. He's got his little bag on the end of his stick. They're going away, hoping to forget the cake. I'm really trying to be strong. To eat it would be very wrong. I've wanted it for so, so long. <laughs> Do you think it's really been long? I thought she just found it. <laughs> I must forget the cake. Look at all the things she's doing to forget. Right here, she's reading a book of poems. She's having her dog jump through a hoop. They did it 310 times, 311 times. Now she's riding a, a horse. Now they're blindfolded. Over here, they're playing racquetball. She's listening to music. They're playing music. And she's crawling around like a dog. All these things to forget the cake. 
That thought has made me rather glum, and all I want is one small crumb. She's crying. My mom says no, but I say yum. <laughs> I'm going back for the cake. <laughs> Look, she's got cake, and her dog too. They're racing back for the cake. It's still there, waiting, nicely placed, for me to have a little taste. To leave it would be such a waste. I'll only lick the cake. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> She's excited. Oh my, oh my, what a delight. Somehow the lick became a bite. I can't control my appetite. <laughs> Look at Just one more slice of cake. <laughs> what do you see there? It looks like we don't have much cake left now. I know I've not been very wise, and what I've done, I can't disguise. I might have to apologize because I ate the cake. <laughs> they ate the whole thing. They look like a mess, too. Oh, silly me, what have I done? I'll have to make another one. I guess it could be kind of fun. I've never baked a cake. I need some eggs. I'll start with six. It's sure to be a tasty mix. There's nothing that I cannot fix. It's easy making cake. Look, she's getting in the fridge, getting all her ingredients. I'll whisk and beat and stir and shake until my arms begin to ache. Oh no, that wasn't meant to break. <laughs> Look at her, she's slowly mixing all the ingredients. Looks like a big mess. It's hard to make a cake. My gosh, the mess, it's everywhere. It's up the walls and in my hair. When mom sees this, she'll faint, I swear. It's chaos making cake. <laughs> Look at that big mess. Hi, mom, I've come here to confess. I'm sorry if I've caused you stress. And yes, I've made a lot of mess. But hey, I made you a cake. <laughs> You see the cake she made. <laughs> the end. That was a cute one. I can definitely identify with some of those feelings. All right, now let's do a little rhyme with our fingers. Get your fingers ready. We have 10 fingers, so that's what we're starting out. But instead of fingers, we're pretending like these are candles on a birthday cake, okay? 10 little candles on a birthday cake. Now there are eight. We blew out two of them. Eight little candles on a birthday cake. Now there are six. Six little candles on a birthday cake. Now there are four. Four little candles on a birthday cake. Now there are two. Two little candles on the birthday cake. Now there are none. Make a wish. Did you blow out all the candles? That was fun. We don't have any candles left. Let's sit, read our second book. This one is called I Will Chomp You by Jory John, who wrote the words, and Bob Shea, who drew the pictures. This is in our read aloud collection. You can find it under our stairs in the preschool library. Hey, go away. I will chomp you. If you turn any more pages, I will chomp you, Buster. He doesn't seem very nice, does he? Now quit it. I'm still turning pages. <laughs> Hey, I'm warning you, you've been officially warned. Chomp! He missed me. <laughs> well, I missed, but I won't miss again. You do not want to turn another page, Buster. You do not want these feet running at you. You do not want these teeth chomping at you. That's it. Here it comes. Let's turn the page. Chomp! Oh, he missed me. 
Arr, I missed again. Oh, you're very good, Buster. Very good indeed. Now, I'm asking nicely. Please put down the book. Put the book down and read something else. Or go outside. Be a good kid. Don't make me beg. Okay, I beg of you. Stop reading. Please stop. Should we stop? No. Jump. Oh. <laughs> Sigh. You're too good for this old guy. I'm fast, but you're faster. I'll be okay. Just give me a moment. You're probably wondering why I'm so eager to chase you away. Can you keep a secret? Sniff. <laughs> It's because I have all my cakes back here at the end of the book. <laughs> See? See all my beautiful frosted cakes? Cakes with sprinkles, cakes with chocolate, cakes with strawberries and vanilla, pineapple upside down cake, and pineapple right side up cake. <laughs> Angel food cake, and Boston cream pie, and coffee cake, and cupcakes, and fruit cake. Yes, all my lovely lovely cakes and you found them <laughs> i want to eat all those cakes most people don't get this far most people are afraid of all my chomping see i don't like to share my cakes i want to chomp them all they're all for me chomp <laughs> but i guess you can have a couple of these and maybe one of these and, and this here you go just come a little closer. A little bit closer now. What do you think's gonna happen? Jump! <laughs> oh, sigh, you win. How about this? I'll give you half my cakes if you promise never to read this book again. Do you promise? What do you think? <laughs> You're not gonna start over, are you, Buster? We're done, right? Okay. I can see you're going to do whatever you want. Fine. Go ahead and turn all the pages again. What do I care? You think he cares? Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> he ate so much cake, his stomach hurts. The end. He didn't stop us. We read the whole thing. All right, now let's sing a song where we pretend to make a cake. So we're going to go through the, all the motions. First, first, we're going to mix the batter. Then we're going to spread the frosting. And then we're going to eat our piece, OK? <laughs> this is the way we mix the batter, mix the batter, mix the batter. This is the way we mix the batter when we make a cake. This is the way we spread the frosting, spread the frosting, spread the frosting. This is the way we spread the frosting when we make a cake. This is the best part, huh? <laughs> this is the way we eat our piece, eat our piece, eat our piece. This is the way we eat our piece when we make a cake. Good job, friends. Should we sing it again? One more time. Let's do it. This is the way we mix the batter, mix the batter, mix the batter. This is the way we mix the batter when we make a cake. This is the way we spread the frosting, spread the frosting, spread the frosting. This is the way we spread the frosting when we make a cake. This is the way we eat our piece, eat our piece, eat our piece. This is the way we eat our piece when we make a cake. Good job, friends. All right, now we'll read our last book. This one is called A Birthday for Cow by Jan Thomas. And you can find this book in our toddler book collection because it's a board book. All the books in the toddler collection are board books. What do you see on the first page? Looks like a calendar. And today's date is circled and it says cow's birthday. Hmm, let's see what happened. Today is Cow's birthday. Yippee! Pig and Mouse are going to make Cow the best birthday cake ever. And here's Duck. And he's going, cake? <laughs> Mouse and Pig are very excited. And they've got the recipe right here. 
They put flour and sugar and eggs in a big bowl. See the big bowl? And a turnip, <laughs> said the duck. Are there turnips in cake? That's weird. <laughs> no, duck, we will not put in a turnip. <laughs> They've got it all over them. Next, they mix it all together with a turnip. <laughs> no, duck, a spoon. Then they put it in the, uh, in the oven. Can a turnip go in too? <laughs> duck is just stuck on this turnip. And they ice and decorate the cake. And on top they put, I know, says Duck. What's he got in his hand? A turnip. <laughs> no turnips, Duck. Candles. So now they're putting the candles on the cake. Duck's just standing there holding his turnip like, what? Look, here comes Cow now. They're all so excited. Here's Cow. Is that what I think it is? Oh boy, this is the best birthday ever. What do you think he sees? A turnip! <laughs> He's so excited about the turnip. And there's a poor cake over there just being ignored. Oh no. Look, Mouse and Pig are like, what do we do with this cake? Mmm, cow's enjoying his turnip. Good cake, <laughs> says Pig, as he and Mouse eat the cake. And Mouse is so full, look how round he is. He says, burp. <laughs> they ate the whole cake. And then here's Duck and Cow, and Duck says, sometimes I brush my teeth using a turnip. Cow says, really? Me too. <laughs> They were so excited about that turnip. They didn't even care about that cake. That's funny. All right, let's sing another song. This one's a classic you may know. And it's really fun if you have a friend or a family member that you can clap hands with. And the motion that we do goes like this. So you clap and then you'll slap both hands with your friend. Just over and over like that, okay? I don't have a friend here right now. So we'll just pretend like I'm slapping hands with a friend. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B and throw it in the oven for baby and me. Good job, friends. You've heard that one before, haven't you? Let's sing it again. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake. As fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with the B and throw it in the oven for baby and me. Good job, friends. So, since this is preschool story time, we usually have a craft. I've got some things here. Oh, I dropped some pieces. Here they are. Got them. All right. What's this? A blue square. What's this? It looks kind of like the last one, but it's not the same. It's a rectangle, because you see how these sides are longer? If two sides are longer than the other two, that's a rectangle. It's blue, too. What's this? This looks like a circle, but it's been kind of squished. It's purple. It's an oval. An oval looks like a squished circle. And then, what's this? It looks like a square, kind of, but once again, two sides are longer. It's an orange rectangle. And then, I actually do have some circles. See, they're perfectly round. They're not squished like an oval. I've got a yellow circle. I've got a white circle. I've got a red circle, and then this one. Do you know the color of this one? It's green. It's a green circle. What could I make if I put all these shapes together? Hmm, hmm. You 
think I can make a cake? Look, I did. That's, this is what I used to make this cake. I made that cake out of all the shapes. I had a lot more white circles. You can see the purple oval right here. I used it as the platter. And then on the bottom, I used the rectangle, the blue rectangle. On the top, I used the blue square. For the candles on top of the cake, I used the orange rectangle. And finally, I used the different colored circles to create the icing and the decorations on the cake. And all I needed was a glue stick and paper. So that's a craft that you can easily do at home using just colored paper, scissors, and glue. Thank you for joining us for story time today. Let's sing our goodbye song. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing goodbye. We wink and sing goodbye. We wink and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wink and sing goodbye. We'll see you next time.